This video will be looking at Beyond Trust product Password Safe Cloud. This is hosted in Beyond Trust's cloud environment. And the use case we're going to be looking at is a couple of Python scripts that are used to access or get and update or put passwords or secrets using Password Safe Cloud's API. Reviewing a quick architecture diagram. This will be us, the end user, and we'll be making API calls to the password safe appliance that's hosted in Azure. And password safe uses a technology called resource brokers. If you see here, there's a cloud resource broker, and down here, there's an on prem resource broker. And these are how password safe connects into that data center or into that cloud infrastructure. So here we're looking at a couple of managed accounts that we have within Password Safe. This first one at the top here, EF API test account. It is a static password. That means I am not automatically changing it, but I am enabling the API. I actually changed this one using a script that we'll go through in a couple of seconds here. And the second one is a managed account and it's an account on a Linux system, an Oracle Linux box called user01. And you can see this one is being auto-managed and it also has API enabled. And when I say it's being managed, I'm able to come in here and change this password and password save uses what's called our functional account, reaches out to that system and is able to rotate that password. Jumping over to Visual Studio Code, I'm going to execute this Python script here and we'll take a look at the output and then review it in the code here. So the account ID is 21. The request ID is 198 and you see there's the password within quotes. I then just remove the quotes. It gets a response 204, which means success. That secret was successfully viewed. I'll provide my GitHub link to my repo in the comments below, but I'll review a couple of these steps here and I usually try to comment pretty frequently and provide details on what each section is doing. So the BI server and header info here where it's making the call to my password safe appliance and you see I am getting the API key and the BI username from my config file here that's stored securely and you can generate those from your password safe appliance as well. Scrolling down, it's just the URL header information, but here's where I'm grabbing the base URL for managed systems. And that actually provides me a list and I'm putting that into a JSON format. And then here are the two pieces of information I'm gonna use to then find the system name as well as the managed account and the password I wanna view. So the system name is um, EF API test system 01. And this is the account 01 that we looked at earlier when we were looking at the password safe web UI. And so what this does here is it loops through that JSON file looking for that system name. And once it finds it, it's able to then, we then loop through what's called the managed accounts to find that managed account we're looking for. And you see then it's going to give you a an account ID, right? And that's what we were trying to get because for password safe, there's a couple of steps. They don't, we don't just give you a password with a single API call. You have to know what the account ID is, and then you have to make a corresponding request. And then once you have that request ID, you can then check out the password. And all these steps are here from a security perspective. And so continuing on here, where we have the information we need and we build out that request ID. As you can see here, this is the information we populate it from the variables, the, give it a reason, and that gives us a request ID. And then once we have that request ID, we're able to access the credentials URL from the API. And here you see it's printing the password and then I'm just removing the quotes. And then I do a little bit of cleanup at the end. I actually check back in that request and I give it provide a reason, you know, the demo or the test was completed, checking it into that URL. 
and then I just print that it was checked in. What that response was based on if it's a 204, which is successful, that was viewed. If not, we'd get an error that typically that request is still being opened or accessed. Looking at a similar script, I have one here for that Linux system we looked at earlier, the Oracle Linux box with the user 01 account. And same thing happens when I execute this script, I will get an account ID, a request ID, it'll present that password, and I will get a response. Now this one's a bit different because as you remember, we are auto managing it. So once this password is viewed and checked back in, password safe will automatically rotate it at the defined schedule. Now we're gonna jump over to this other Python script where we generate a 128 character password and put that back into password safe. So I'll just execute this script and then we'll walk through it. So here you see it generates that super long password typically for secrets and we same thing we get a success 204 the password was updated with that generated password and same thing we have that same header information where i'm storing the api key to password safe cloud and the username secretly in the config file but where we're doing it a bit differently here we have that asset name and managed account that we we viewed in the last section and in this section here, I'm generating a password. It's just a simple Python module where it grabs a list of characters and string uh, digits, puts them into a string of 128 characters, and it shuffles them up and spits out that password. Here you see it's generating it and kind of joining it together. And then here's the password safe bit where I'm getting back to that manage systems URL. Same thing, I'm getting that JSON format out, looping through the JSON for that asset name I'm looking for, or system name. Once I find it, I'm able to do the same thing for the managed account. I'm looking for that managed account that I'm targeting. And then once I find it, I'm able to then put it into a specific, um, put it back into that with, based on the password I generated. So here you see the config, that API key, and here I'm actually session putting the updated credentials from the data I generated. And then at the end, you see it's just kind of success. And to view that that password that I just generated was updated, I can go back to my view password test, execute that, and I should see that same NMKZ, NMKZ password that we generated. There you see. There is also a check in all requests Python script that is in my GitHub repo that's pretty useful when you're going through this testing. Sometimes when you're testing, you'll be checking out an account, but then you don't check it back in and you cannot check it back out based on your policy unless you check it back in. So this just runs through a loop to check in any open requests and you can also find it in my GitHub repo.